Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to connect up a wireless game controller to your Mac. Under the new version of macOS Sequoia, so if you've updated to macOS 15, then you now have the ability to connect up multiple controllers, for example, PlayStation 5 DualSense controllers, you can plug in an Xbox Series controller, and also third-party controllers as well, all via USB-C cable. And not only that, this also applies to third-party and also official wired controllers too. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to actually make use of this. The first thing that you need to do, of course, is to update your Mac to macOS Sequoia, macOS 15. And once you do that, you just need to connect up your cable. So the first thing that we're going to need is a USB-C cable. So this is a standard USB-C cable here. And this really depends on which kind of controller that you want to use. But uh, if you have like, for example, an Xbox One controller with a micro USB, then you might need to use that. So I'm going to be plugging this into one of my standard USB-C ports on my MacBook Pro here on the left. Just plug that in there. And then and the first test we're going to do is with the series controller. So I'm going to plug it into the data port of my Xbox series controller here. And then what's going to happen is that it's going to vibrate. And then you'll see on screen here, do you want this accessory to connect? Press allow. And uh, if I basically turn on the controller here, we're now connected up. You can also check this by clicking on the Apple logo, going to system settings. And then if we scroll down to the side to find game controllers, and if for some reason you can't see your controller here with the green light, just go ahead and unplug the cable, plug it back in, make sure it's turned on. And then you'll see the green light next to your controller here with the green icon for this Xbox controller. And I'm connected up here, so that's working fine. So this doesn't just work on Xbox controllers, we can also connect up a PS5 DualSense controller via USB-C. So here what we're gonna do is to connect up my controller here. So I've got a DualSense wireless controller. I'm gonna plug in the USB-C end here. And here it's asking us whether we wanna connect it up. Press allow. And then you can see here, we have the wireless controller connected up here. It says it's charging it. We have our light on here and it says it's connected. And here it's being picked up on the gamepad tester. And if I go to my game, so here we're now in the game, you can see that I can press the jump button and this is all interacting. And we're not actually connected via Bluetooth. So if I go to the Bluetooth settings, we can see the DualSense wireless control is here, but it's not highlighted. It just means that we're not connected via Bluetooth. If I disconnect this, this is no longer working. And if I want to connect it up again, just plug it in. And then it picks it up pretty quickly. I'm also going to test this with an 8-bit do SM30 Pro. So this is a pretty common uh, cool portable joystick and uh, I'm going to plug this in via the USB-C cable. And it's asking do we want to connect this up, press allow. And this has picked it up pretty quickly, so this is pretty cool. We have our full wireless controllers working on the Mac via wired cable. So this even applies on third party cables too. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.